When was the last time you saw a sparrow? Still thinking? Sparrow. A bird whose sounds filled my childhood, whose sight was an everyday occurrence. Today, it feels like as with my childhood, the bird too is just a part of my memory. What is happening to the sparrow? Where did it go? I decided to Google this. I was amazed at some of the things I found out. Did you know the sparrow is a family of small passerine birds of which there are 5,000 identified species? The house sparrow or passer domesticus is the most widespread species of the sparrow found in most parts of the world. India is home to five species of the sparrow, namely the house sparrow, the Spanish sparrow, the sin sparrow, the reset sparrow and the Eurasian tree sparrow. It is a species that has evolved with human beings and is generally found in and around human habitations. Our relationship with the sparrow goes back 10,000 years and the name house sparrow itself is an indicator of the intimate bond between bird and man. The house sparrow is a very social bird. A small bird, it is 16 centimeters in length and weighs in the range of 24 to 40 grams. Females are usually smaller than males and are pale brown and grey in colour, whereas males have brighter black, white and brown markings. The house sparrow mostly eats grains and seeds but is also fond of insects. In urban areas, it feeds largely on food provided by humans. The house sparrow is monogamous. It builds its nest in crevices of houses, tree hollows and other unusual places like street lamps and neon signs. According to a census by certain organizations, the numbers of the house sparrow have reduced by 80% in the last decade. Mohammed Dilawar, the Nasik-based sparrow conservationist, has been working for the cause of the sparrow in India. He was named by Time magazine as a hero of the environment in 2008 for his efforts to help the house sparrow. In a country like India where tiger, uh, if you work for tigers, it's considered more glamorous in the research community and it's considered to be more important. But species which are common like house sparrow, bulbuls or even for that matter uh, the common house lizard, anything which is common is not considered important for India. So when I began, uh, began my work eight years back, uh, no one was interested in working for sparrows. But uh, back then I realized that it's important that we study our common species and specifically house sparrows because the decline of house sparrows, specifically in our urban environments, is a grim reminder of the changing habitat as well as the degradation which is happening in and around us. And sparrow is one of the best bioindicator as far as urban habitats are considered. If you see the various causes for the decline of sparrows, today they are uh, affecting sparrows, but at the same time they are also affecting the way we lead our life. It is also affecting our health. A primary cause for the decline in the sparrow population is the reduction in insect populations. The reduction in insect population results from increasing use of pesticides, decreasing green spaces and possibly the use of unleaded petrol. Rapid urbanization and changes in urban architecture have all played a part in decreasing the numbers of the sparrow. Protecting insect habitats, planting native species, help the cause of the house sparrow, as does establishing urban green spaces. Now native trees are important for sparrows because native trees uh, provide a breeding ground for our insects and the young ones of sparrows require native plants to feed in the first 15 days which are very critical. Now this is for example a native tree which is called as Nirguri. It's it was a very common hedge plant used in India but over a period of time when the exotic plants started coming in we lost all our native hedges. Now a native hedge plant like this is also important for the sparrows to roost as well perch at the night. Uh, this is a typical nest box for the house sparrows and 
the importance of a nest, uh, nest box is it's a surrogate cavity. Now in today's world, uh, the cavities for sparrows, sparrow are basically cavity nesting birds. So the cavities that are required to make a nest are declining because of the modern architecture which doesn't have any cavity. So a nest box is a surrogate cavity which helps the sparrows to make the nest. Now what you see here is a bird feeder. Bird feeders are important to provide sparrows and other grain eating birds a sustainable source of food throughout the year. That's why we urge people to adopt nest boxes, adopt bird feeders, put it outside their homes, offices, institutions. So we all help in creating more habitat for sparrows and increasing the sparrow population of sparrow over a period of time. Delhi Public School Tapi is one such place where we're conserving the sparrows. The school has nests, food and water bowls in place for the sparrows. There's a lot of talk these days about peace education. Most of the children who come to my school, they are all city born and bred. They know absolutely nothing about nature, apart from it is something out there. Main life is here and nature is something on the fringes. Actually, it's the other way around. Our cities are just small spots in the overall global existence. Everything we do over here is to keep this perspective correct and to keep the proportion correct. Sparrows is part of bringing a life element of nature into their life so that they learn to coexist. And our children have become very sensitized. Recently they have started taking an interest in seeing that the seeds are replenished in the holes, the water is fresh. Learning to live with this little bird could be your first step in peace education in the school. The future of the sparrow is in our hands. Let's save the sparrow for a healthier tomorrow.